Hey parents, are you making your baby registry and need some advice on what to put on there, what to leave out? You click the right video because in today's video I'm going to be reviewing all of those things. I am creating my baby registry for baby number two and I'm going to be talking about must-have, things to leave out, how to set up, and the company I'm using and why. So if you're interested to see all of those answers, make sure to stick around to the very end. Now for the selfish part, let me talk about me really quick. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you really like this video. And if you want to learn more about pregnancy, motherhood, and day-to-day -day life, go on over and click my Instagram and follow me there as well. If you're already subscribed and you're just checking out my video, thank you. Lots of love to you. So this is my second baby shower. It is my second baby registry. For my first daughter, I ended up using Amazon baby registry and it was a great registry. Loved everything about it. However, after I had my daughter, I heard about baby list and I was just like, this is pretty cool. The reason I ended up choosing baby list second time around was because not only was I able to put Amazon products, I was able to put products from any company that I wanted on my baby list registry. What was really cool about it, add the item to your registry and not only will it add it from that company, it's going to add every competitor that's on there along with the pricing. So when guests are looking through your registry, they can see who has the better deal. They don't have to shop around. They know exactly who has these products and what's the best price for them. So let's talk about the swag because we all know when we do a baby registry, what do we look forward to? Is that baby registry box that gets sent to us in the mail as a big thank you. Baby list is a little bit more complicated. So the difference with baby list and other companies is that you have to purchase a minimum of $10 from the baby list website. However, they require those $10 to be specifically spent on a product that was purchased through Babylist. The thing with that is that Babylist isn't always the best price. Since they're putting all of the competitors that are selling that product, more times than not, Babylist is more higher. So you're going with other companies to purchase that product. So I still, to this moment, have not received my Babylist gift box because I have not purchased anything or friends and family have not purchased anything for me yet, specifically through Babylist. The minimum purchase is $10 and a lot of other companies do the same thing. And there's other companies out there that just by making the baby registry, you get a gift box. Stay tuned because I am going to be doing a baby registry gift box haul. <laughs> I have pretty much received about six to seven different boxes from different companies because I wanted to test these theories out and I wanted to see how it works and let you know how to do that and then you can pick the best registry that's for you. A second thing that's a little bit iffy for me with Babylist is that purchasing a product can be a little bit confusing. Once they have the registry on there, your guests will go on there, click the item, it will divert them to the website itself. So if they click the item from Amazon, they will now be on Amazon.com, Walmart, any other store that you're putting on there. If they purchase a product from there, they have to remember to then go back to Babylist and mark that item as purchased. Because if they don't, the item does not autom automatically mark as purchased and then multiple people might purchase the same item for you. So if, when you, if you decide to use Babylist and you make that registry, in the description, I recommend putting on there for your guests to remember to go back to Babylist and mark item as purchase. I'm gonna show you my baby registry so you can see a little bit of details on there. And I'm also gonna be linking it down below so you can take a good look at it, see how I set it up, products I'm putting. If I recommend the product, but I don't need it at this time, I'm still gonna be putting those products in the links below, so check that out. So let's go on in and take a look at my baby registry. So here, you're gonna see I had, on the top left, you're able to put your picture on there and put a little bit of the description. Here is where I recommend for you to describe the process of purchasing an item. So here you can put the baby registry title. I put on mother's baby registry. You're also gonna have the URL here. On the bottom here is my description. So here, if you can see, I put it nice in all caps. I put 
don't forget to come back and mark item as purchased. So I put there in my baby registry, I always like to put my daughter's theme because people are gonna be out and about and they're gonna see something and remember, oh, Cassandra said her daughter's theme is this. This will match so cute with baby Luna's room or things like that. For baby Luna this time around, her theme is llama and succulents because I love plants. And then I also put the colors. So her room is gonna be neutrals, ranging from greens, browns, and beige. I personally do not put any clothes on my baby registry. I promise you, without a shadow of a doubt, people are going to bombard you with baby clothes. If I could give one word of advice is put essentials on your baby registry, things you absolutely need and that it would be a huge help if somebody got it for you. On the corner of your registry, you'll have your little picture here and I'll have all your info so you can put your settings. Here I'll have your name, your email, you can change your password if you like it. Shipping address, do not forget to put that on your baby registry because some people, you have family that's out of state, they can't make it, they can't see you, but they're like, hey, I wanna send you a gift. So I'm showing you the desktop version. However, the majority of everything I'm doing, I'm using on my app. The app is 100 times more easy to add items, take it off, put descriptions, takes the quantity amount. But for recording purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and show you on the computer. But here you have steps to creating your registry. So once you put in your normal, the baby's due date, when if you're having a baby shower, when you're gonna do that and start adding items, you have your main screen here. So here it shows that I've added 60 items so far. Gifts received, none at the moment because I have not shared this link out. I have not invited anybody yet to my baby to my baby shower. So here I'll show you those basic stores that you have. You can click on other stores as well and I'll kind of show you how to add it there. This on the computer is a little bit more confusing so I recommend doing that on your phone. So let's look at my registry. So first, the big thing, things like car seats, bassinets, cribs. Those are the big things that I always recommend putting on that re registry. I always end up going with Graco. Graco has been a great company for me. It works well, I have that for my daughter. And I also like it because the products are great products and they're more of the affordable line. So I have two car seats on here. The first one is kind of like the new one. This is the Graco Snug ride snug fit 35 elite here and once you click on the item and this is like the guest view as well is going to direct them as you can see to the registry or uh, to the the website itself i specifically like this one here because it grows with them it goes for about 263 however there are other great coast snug rides that go a little bit less so this one here is 195 and i've seen them go down to even more so here you're gonna see a wide range of them and they're all great. The other car seat is the four in one car seat. So here, this one is a little bit opposite. It says you can put your little one in there from like, oh, you can start as small as four pounds. But I'm using this currently now for my three-year-old. I think it was just too big to start at four pounds. When she was hitting more of the 25 pound mark was when I transitioned her to this one. But I love this one because it is a four in one. It adjusts, I can keep taking pieces off as she gets bigger. And it's gonna be either rear facing or front facing depending the stage that your little one is on. This one opened up on the baby list, but if I go back here, as you can see on the bottom, it shows all the places. So I can get it from baby list, Amazon, Walmart, Bye Bye Baby, and Target. And then on the side is going to show the pricing. And as you can see, baby list is more of the expensive line. So majority of people are gonna go to the other one. So then here you bounce it over and it's on Amazon and it's about $30 less. So, but it has all of the features there. As you can see, it has the four in one and all the different positions you can use it for. Bassinets, this one's completely up to you. If you're going to have a playpen in your room or a crib set up, you may or may not want this. I specifically want this because I want to have my baby right next to me and I learned through my first experience that having a bassinet that has features on it is a big help. So ones that sway, vibrate, play music, things like that 
are going to help especially the ones with cry detection and that's the one i specifically wanted so this one is more of the affordable line there are other brands out there for example the snoo i love that one and it is amazing and if money was no option i would have been purchasing that one not in my budget so I was looking for something comparable and I think the Graco um, move and soothe bassinet is a good comparison so here again bye bye baby is actually the cheaper one at the moment and the price does jump you do get emails letting you know price jump or price change things like that it has everything in the middle so you'll be able to see lighting it's gonna vibrate it's gonna turn on off it has all the features. It moves front to back to help sway your baby. So this is why I personally get a, a bassinet of its own. I don't rely on the one that goes in a playpen because the ones there won't do as much as the one that does it on its own. So I do recommend a good bassinet for your little one. On this registry, I do not have cribs or or play pens, things like that, because I already have that from my first daughter. My first daughter has transitioned out. She actually never enjoyed her crib, so her crib is pretty much brand new. What I can recommend is looking for multiple ones, a convertible crib. Hers is a three-in-one, I believe, so it goes from a crib, I can adjust the mattress, different height, then it goes to one with a little rail, then it goes to a, a bed for them. So if you're gonna invest in a bed, or in a crib, I recommend the convertible ones. There are play pens. A lot of people are not even using cribs anymore. They're strictly using play pens. And then they have the changing table, the bassinet, and different features on them, along with them being, you're able to travel. So if you go on vacation, you can take it with you and your baby doesn't have to adjust too much. So here, if you see this one here, it has a little mobile with the changing table, but there are some here that you can put play pens with bassinet and look for 159 you're gonna have the bassinet here the changing table then you also have a little pouch in the front that allows you to put diapers wipes bottles any type of knickknacks that you need and that one goes for 159 there are other brands that can be a little bit more a little bit less depending on the feature the brand things like that so depending what you're looking for and your budget you can pick one there but if you're looking not to get a crib and you're looking for a playpen option I think these are really great um, features to do. This one here, Baby Trend, Little Snooze. This one's going for $90, so great options for you. Strollers, the one, and it was actually already purchased for me, so you won't see it on my baby registry, but I ended up getting a Graco, because what's nice with Graco is once you get that, any car seat that you put from, and you purchase from Graco would automatically transfer there. I ended up choosing the Graco Ready to Grow and the reason I like that one is because there's multiple different ways that the baby can adjust to it. I'm going to be having a toddler, a three-year-old and a newborn. So I need a way for my toddler to be able to move out and about while I'm still able to cater to my newborn. So this was one I chose and with my car seats, it's gonna complement it. I'm gonna be able to put it right in and there's not gonna be an issue. You're gonna see many different companies. Graco always being one of the top ones, but you see here, there's other ones side by side. I personally didn't want them because of the aisle. So I wanted front to back. I did not want side by side. Once you're done with the big gadgets, then there's small things I recommend. So here are the PB and J baby clips. These are amazing and lifesavers. This will go, you can hang your purse from there. You can hang a bag from there. The baby's changing book bag that you have. So many things from there and they're only $9.98 and they last forever. Here, the three-in-one diaper backpack. I do recommend a backpack and not a bag because if even when you're just one baby, you're gonna be holding it. You want another free hand. You don't wanna be holding the purse that constantly falls off. This one here, I regret not getting it the first time. It has a changing table. You don't know how many stores do not have changing tables. There have been times where I've had to rush to the car, things like that, or have to pretty much do this whole setup on the ground, depending where I was. And it was such an inconvenience. So here it kind of pulls in and then it zips up. It's discreet, no one knows, but if you walk somewhere, it doesn't happen, you pull it out and you have a baby bag right there. Baby four-sided changing pad. Depending which one you want. The reason I went for a four-sided compared to my old one that I have is just a two-sided is because they start to wail and things like that and move and bop their head. And if yours is in a, kind of like a wooden 
square box where you place it inside once they get a little longer they start to bump their head and things like that so with the four corner one it gives them a little bit more cushion for protection and then there's tiny toys so this one's super adorable once your little one gets a little bit bigger for them amazon has a bunch of different varieties you can choose from this one was just one i thought was cute but they have so many you can add so i think something to entertain them when you're at the store and they get a little bit older it's a great idea to put baby carriers i actually have a few different kinds i put this one on here the you and me four in one economic baby one it's 26.88 that's a really a really great price there's other ones out there that can go for like 100 bucks i'm like Ugh, that one's a bit that one's a bit rough but the reason i put this one on there is because this one i can wear it my husband can wear it it's a little bit better like that um, there are other ones. I do have the sling and I purchased that from a store and I saw it on sale. Um, I do have the wraparound, but those are more for like mommies. <laughs> and I like those because I'm able to breastfeed and kind of put them in this nice position that's comfortable for the baby and I, and then the baby can nurse. But my husband doesn't really want to wear a sling one or the little <laughs> ones with jewels or anything. So this one I thought was a great one at a great price as well. So there's two companies I like to, well, there's a few companies, but I put all, there's the baby um, liquid laundry detergent that's for hypoallergenic draft. I like the smell of it. And they have the Honest Company disinfectant spray that you can take everywhere and disinfect. And then a little, um, a little gift set from draft. But there's other great companies on there that have liquid laundry detergent for babies, all being my favorite. I still use all now. Now that my daughter is older, this is actually the only one I purchased for her clothing because she used to have sensitive skin. And their pricing is a lot better. $14.99 for 100 loads. Then they have here 96 loads for Drift and that's going for about $21.99. Um, but the Drift one just smells really amazing. So I like that for the very beginning and then I kind of wean out of it and stick to my all. Postpartum. You want to take care of yourself and your body just as much as you're taking care of your new baby once they're here. These are things I did not have and I wish I did so bad was the, the postpartum underwears. And I did not know that Always has these cute little underwears. The ones at the hospital, the hospital I went to kind of gave me double pads to put in this very thin material of underwear. The pads were flipping. It was a mess. I hated it and then i ended up purchasing thicker pads on their own still very uncomfortable and then i came across these and i'm like what this is amazing i found two different kinds they had the always boutiques and then their discreet underwear they come in different sizes i put large because mama got a lot of junk in her trunk and i know after my baby's out i would prefer a little bit bigger than too snug especially if you have a c-section which i had the first time so these here are nice, they're disposable. They're a little bit more pricier. What I do recommend if you don't want the always or you're not, you don't care about brands. If you do have your um, memberships to like those bulk stores, I have seen generic ones at bulk stores. I do recommend your own nursing gown because the ones you get from the hospital, they kind of leave you exposed different places or a little big, might be uncomfortable. I recommend black because any other color, they're beautiful, absolutely. But with these um, maternity gowns, you can use them during delivery, labor, and nursing once you come home. Your body is going through a lot and it's gonna be easy to stain those. Black will hide them, nice, beautiful colors. Won't last that pretty for very long. Palmer's Cocoa Butter, their new mom skin um, recovery. I am I'm using their belly balm and it's, it feels so good on my body. So I definitely, I didn't try this the first time, but I do want to try the second time to see if I like how it helped me kind of bring my, my belly and my body back. Check around for other companies. I do recommend something to help your skin recover. And this kind of has a whole, a whole kit and it's only 1666. So I thought that was a great amount. If you're planning to breastfeed or pump, these are some things I have on mine. If you're pumping, definitely look at the pump you have. You're gonna want to put pieces to it. So if your insurance company doesn't cover the pieces to be refilled for you and you have to do it out of pocket, 
definitely you want to add that to your registry such as the tubings the cups things like that depending all the pieces from your breast pump here i have you of course want the nursing bags to store the milk and then i also put a little tray so this is just for kind of for the day i'm able to pull them out and kind of save space and then i have another freezer if you're gonna try to pump or if your body is producing so much milk you need its own then you can do that there but this is i'm just adding that there just for organization so that i can have it in my fridge and it pulls out nursing covers this one i do like depending where i am i don't cover but depending other places i use this cover and it's kind of like a cooking apron this one was really great it's only 20 bucks and that's on all three places that it was found on and as you put it on you're able to adjust it it kind of has something in the front that will come out there is air flowing moving in at the end you can just throw it over your shoulder if you don't if you get tired from it i use those sling ones for my first baby registry it was kind of like the stretchy material it was the most uncomfortable thing ever it was hot for me and baby i had to put it over my shoulders which made my like my hands stuck to me which too much body heat and then it was constantly because it was stretchy it just kept falling off and falling it was i hated it adaptation products oh mama is one i've been trying i try i'm trying them now during my third trimester for their teas and i'm loving them so i was just like i definitely want to do their postpartum lactation line so but if it's not oh mama there's so many other lines out there if you just put lactation teas there's a ton. Mother's Milk is another one that I use. That one you can find at supermarkets. Here on Amazon, it's $25.44. But to be honest, if you go into your local supermarket, it's a lot cheaper. So I recommend going there. And Earth Mamas, another one of my favorite lines. But they create teas that you can take to help you um, lactate. But other than teas, there's cookies, there's bars, there's things like that. There's vitamins. So while you're nursing, milk might get stuck. It's going to hurt. You're going to get lumps. A massager a massager I put this one on here however watching multiple reviews anything that vibrates and by I mean anything I mean <laughs> you will want to use to put around your breast to try to get the breast the milk unclogged and the milk to finally fall but I think this one's great it's actually pretty small when I compared it on their website so it's something that if you're in public it'll be pretty discreet as you can see here she's covering her breast as a small piece so even if I, I'm somewhere and it's hurting I can just put that there and I'll be good to go of course you want nursing bras you want the shirts to help you out think of you during this process i do not have nipple balm on here because i have quite a bit but definitely you want nipple balm you want things to help you i also have a nipple shield because those first few days you crack you bleed you sore you you're sore you're gonna cry and having that shield on there will help i got one from medela i'll put the link down below medela also has um a soap to help you clean your parts your pump parts and they also have a sanitizing spray Haka that is something i did not have my first round and boy did i regret that one that one's amazing because when you're in the shower or you're anywhere you're that's heating milk falls you want something to collect the milk it comes with the ladybug one and then it also has the longer breast pump ones i actually already have those they were gifted to me so i don't have that on my registry but those i recommend it's great because if you're nursing one side you can put the haka on the other and it'll collect the milk and nothing is gone to waste bottles is really your preference every baby's going to be different some of them might be colic some of them might need different kind of nipples or shapes or things like this trying something a little bit different i'm trying boone and the reason i'm doing this one is because it has the pouches and a long time ago i remember that my mom had the bottles with the pouch and the pouch would kind of just squeeze and it will eliminate gas for the baby and my first one had so much gas so much so when i saw these i'm like this resembles and reminds me of it so i want to give these a try and see 
Nano Bee. I really like the shape of their bottles because I'm going to try to breastfeed and pump as much as I can. These bottles here are shaped like a breast and there are going to be times I'm exhausted and my husband needs to help and I'm going to bottle feed. So I think something to resemble the breast would be great to keep the baby aligned with what's going on with you. Bottle cleaners. This one from Walmart is my absolute favorite. I think as crazy as it is, it's only about $2. It is the best cleaning one and it lasts forever. High chairs. I have seen so many people with this high chair and I think it is great. Not specifically this brand, but I put this brand because it's more affordable. It's $100. And what I like is that it has the cushion, it has the seatbelt, and it's convertible. So they can use it as a high chair, they can use it as a normal chair, they can use it for different reasons. Your bath time depends what kind of products you're looking for for there too. I love the Honest Company. I also love Hello Bello. Diapers and wipes. Put them, put any size, any size. If there's only one thing I can tell people to get me, it would be diapers and wipes that's it for my daughter that was my biggest thing i did not purchase diapers or baby wipes for the first year of her life i picked these for specific reasons if you check out my page i review tons of diapers so um i won't go too much into detail but there's a these are great brands that i like and i put them on my registry and of course with creams baby bum maddie's and they have here on its company Love those three for, for my daughter. Pampers has a new line, Lumi, and I haven't tried those out. So I wanted to try them out, so I put them on my registry here. But that is pretty much my registry. I'm still checking it out, so I'll probably be adding a few more things to it. But these are things I think you should absolutely put on there. And then of course, any other little things that you think. I do have a nursing cart that I have that I need to put together and I'm going to be putting a lot of those nursing products on my cart and I'll do a video on that too so you can kind of see what I'm putting in my breastfeeding cart that's going to be dragged around the house with me. So I hope this video helps. Again, I'm putting my baby registry link below if the products aren't there but I recommend them. I'm also going to be putting the description of that on the bottom. So check that out and if you have any recommendations, I think this is a pretty good registry but I I don't know. I've never had two little ones before, so I would love your opinion. Love your opinion on there to let me know like, hey, I think you need this and I'll definitely put it on. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Let me just throw this out here one more time. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you really like more and find me on Instagram and follow me there. See you soon. And if no one's told you, you're an amazing parent and you're doing a great job.